I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I want you. I love that song. I'm so excited. I'm gonna write my invitations for the Halloween party. Let's see. I'll invite Dr. Cookies, and I'll also I'll invite Liz and Caitlin, and I'll invite Derek. He's so dreamy. I can't wait. And I'll also Janice. Oh, it's been years. We've been together since high school. It's been at least 20 years. Oh, I hope they all come. I gotta hurry up and get these invitations out. And we got October 31st at the House of Moorcock. I'm just so excited, I can't wait. Oh, it's gonna be such a fun party. I'm gonna get my groove on. I'm gonna be like, what, 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 what in the butt? What in the butt? What in the butt? I'll be like, <laughs> I gotta hurry up. I gotta get to that goddamn street corner. I gotta work 12 to eight. Oh, girl, can't wait. I'm so excited. Damn, baby. I shouldn't have shaved so close. You jerk. I can't wait to see Janice again. She'll be in town soon. I'm here with world-renowned medium Janice. She's here to promote her new book. My Life is a Medium, Not a Large. It's a fantastic read. It's fabulous, you know. These psychics, they always did fascinate me, and I, I'm just I'm tickled to have her here, and I can't wait to share her with you. And she's going to tell you a little bit about her book and her life and where she's going. And um, it's just a real honor to have her here. Janice! Hey, honey. You look fabulous. Are you here? Can you hear me? Oh, good morning, Chicago. Thank you for having me. Janice, tell us where you are and tell us where the what's uh, what's the book about? Please elaborate. I'd love to know. It's it's just fabulous. So the name of the book is My Life as a Medium, Not a Large. You know, I was originally from Long Island, and my nickname there was Long Island Ice Tea Medium. I mean, no coincidence with the Long Island Medium. We're completely two separate people. Besides, my hair looks better than hers. So I decided to write this book because I've been hearing voices all of my life and then I was convinced that the dead was trying to talk to me. My Life as a Medium, not large, you can buy it at any bookstore, it's at Amazon.com, under spirits. That's right. Do you mind if I have a cocktail? Yes, I've been traveling a lot. Yes. Ah, oh, I tell you what, I channel a lot of spirits. In fact, there's a lot of spirits in this here drink. That's right. I have a spirit guide. His name is Smirnoff. <laughs> Just a little bit of medium jokes. That's all. I can't help myself. Yes, yeah, so I've been channeling voices and hearing things for the longest time. And, you know, celebrities talk to me, people talk to me. I hear people all the time. And then, you know, sometimes I just am compelled to go places. I can be minding my own business. I take, for instance, hold on. The other day, I was shaving my legs. And by the way, that's an all-day affair. And, uh, woo, the spirits in this cup are awful strong. <laughs> They're talking to me, all right. Anyway, hold on, hold that thought. And I was channeling things, and I hear from people all the time. Joan Rivers, she hasn't shut up since she's died. That's all I keep hearing from her. Can we talk? Can we talk? No, I can't talk, Joan, because I'm on a book tour. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> you're so funny, Janice. Oh, you're killing me. I can't stand it. You know, sometimes when I'm alone and I hear those voices and they come calling to me, and they're like, Janice, Janice, I want to tell you something from the afterlife. Anyway, buy my new book, My Life as a Medium, Not a Large. You'll be glad you did. And I believe that the spirits are here to tell us something. And this spirit is still talking to me. <laughs> At this rate, I'll be drunk by 12. Anyway, yes, yes, I can't wait to get back home. I was invited to a Halloween party. Yes, a dear, sweet friend of mine. Yes. Oh, we haven't seen each other since we were kids. And I can't wait to see how she turned out. Yes. Listen, thank you so much for having me on here. And um, thank you again. And please, buy my book. You'll be glad that you did. That was Janice. And Janice, take care, honey. And have a good time at that party. I wish I could go with you. Sounds like a good time to me. You know the drill, JJ. Don't worry. 
This isn't going to hurt. Oh, for Dr. Cookies, I swear I've been really good this time, and it should be a clean exam. JJ, when are you going to learn? You've got to stop putting stuff up here. Okay, okay, damn it. Well, you'll be proud of me. You'll see. Just, you'll see. Okay, here it goes. I have no idea what that is. Really? I swear I've never seen that before, Dr. Cookie. Is that any of my... I, I, I'm telling you, it's not mine. Clean examination, huh? Oh, good lord. Oh, JJ. How did that get in there? And... Wait, wait a second. <laughs> I have no idea really? how that got in there, Dr. Cookies. I swear. I'm a little bit tired, so... Oh, I swear, Dr. Cookies, that's not my coffee cup or my coffee pot. Not bad. I don't know anything about that, Dr. Cookies. I swear, I don't know how that got up my vagina. JJ, you give me no choice. It's time to repossess your vagina. Oh, no, please, Dr. Cookies. But I'm not behind on my payments. I've given you several warnings about this, JJ. This is the fifth time. You should know by now. This is the consequence. Oh, come on, Dr. Cookies. Please don't. We have no many, no other options. Oh, for God's sakes. Everyone's always shitting on me and everything. I can't take this no more. JJ, you did this to yourself. <laughs> okay. All right. You're right. Okay. Well, I guess till next time, Dr. Cookies. All right. Uh-huh. I don't know. Uh-huh. No. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. 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 Again, do it again. <laughs> do it again. Uh huh. You're my best friend. No, I won't tell anybody. No. It is. It'd be our secret. You're my friend. You do it again, yay! <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!
likes the moorcock. It's crazy. Never. 25 years, it hasn't changed a thing. The look, the smell, the sounds. Fabulous. I can't wait to see JJ. It's been such a long time. Where's your goddamn lighter at? I swear to God. Got this damn purse and I can't find nothing in it, ever. Ah. Well, there's the groundskeeper. That's not possible. He looks the same way. In the realm of possibilities, that is impossible. After 25 plus years, he can't be the same person that looks the same way. It can't be possible. I have to get closer to the house and do a reading. And only then can I discover if anything is afoot here. Ah, it's good to be home in Pennsylvania. <laughs> I'm so excited. Come into the light. Carolyn, are you here? Carol, I know you're upset with the second and the third Poltergeist movie. I was too. I loved the first one. They were awesome. The last two, they were horrible. I'm not arguing with that. I'm here because I need a favor from you. So, what can you tell me about the house of Morcock? It's been a long time. Come on, Carolyn, spill it. I paid to see part three and part two of Poltergeist. You owe me, young lady. Okay, I'm listening. You don't say. Well, that's unbelievable. Really? Hmm. Well, holy smokes, I wonder if JJ knows about that. She doesn't. What do you mean? The house has a thing for JJ. That can't be right. Okay, all right, Carolyn. What do I know? You're talking to me from beyond. You're right. I don't know nothing. No. I didn't have a boob job. I don't care what you heard. Carolyn, I'm telling you, don't make me come up there because I will. All right. Okay, Carolyn. Thank you. Thank you very much for the information. Now carry on. Go, go. Come on, go. Go, go, go. All right. Thank you, Carrie. Hey, 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 
what's up, bro? What's going on, brother man? Not much. No. You hear a lot about this party. I did. I got my invite today. Oh, I really? About it. Yeah. Sweet. Where's it at? Uh, this girl's house. Uh, but I kind of keep you like can you take her take her as your date. Uh, I ain't got nothing planned. What she look like? Uh, that's that's the problem. She's kind of um. Well, she's she's pretty ugly. Get the fuck out of here, really? I swear to God. <laughs> Why should I do this for you? Come on, just do it as a favor, man. You owe me. Yeah, but I don't know you that bad. Come on, man. It's just, just this one time. You gotta, you gotta take her out, man. Come oh, on. Man, who is it? Name's JJ. Oh, shit. Not her. You had to pick the fucking ugliest <laughs> one on the block, man. Man, and she's not that bad. Dude, she's got a mustache. I mean, it don't get any worse than that. She and could what? have a full beard. Well, have you seen her lately? <laughs> I saw her down by the school. Her left tit's bigger than the other, man. man. She's Mongolian. I don't know, man. It's not going to kill you to take her out. Uh, it's this one time. This is a friend of your sister, Liz, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Why can't you take her? I already have a date. Yeah, who are you taking? <sighs> Kayla. Well, what makes her so special from JJ? I hear JJ puts out. Well... I'm trying to help you out, man. I can't let you, can't let you be, can't let you be up single. You gotta come in with somebody. Dude, man, I'd rather, uh, I don't know. Come on, man, just this one time. Help me out here. Help me help you. <laughs> Dude, man, she's so ugly, I swear to God. I ain't never seen somebody so ugly in my life. And she chews gum like she's some street hooker. Just do it, man. And... Thank you, Thank you. Hello. Hey, Derek. Yes, JJ. Hey, what's going on? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm talking to him right now. Who the fuck is that? It's JJ. Oh, man. Oh, hey. <laughs> yeah, he wants to talk to you real quick. No, 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 yeah, no. Yeah, come no, on. No, you no, want to talk to him? No, no. All right, I think... I'm trying to. I'm trying to, I'm trying to hook you up here. Yeah, you don't say. Uh, really? Really? Oh, awesome. I'm so excited. And tell, ask her what time she'll be ready. What, what time do you think you'll be ready tonight? Seven? Seven work for you? Oh, Christ. Yeah, do I have to dress up? What are you wearing? Oh, Lord. No, you don't have to dress up. You're all right. <laughs> You're all right. All right, well, I'll pick all up right. at seven. All right, all right, all right. All right, we'll see you tonight. I'm so excited. I got a date. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you owe me. All right, just do this for me. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, well, I best be getting going, cause you know. Yeah, I gotta get back, I gotta, <laughs> gotta change the oil on this. So. I, I gotta, I gotta get myself pretty to meet this one. Thanks a lot, man. No, thank you, my no, thank you. no, 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 thank you. And when I see you, sister, I'm gonna give her shit. Cause I know where <laughs> Liv lives, I know where she lives. All right, well. Give it up. She thinks she's all great because she wants to set people up. I'm sorry, Liz. I'm gonna get you, girl. We'll match anyway, you. yeah, I bet. <laughs> match made in fucking dog pound heaven, man. <laughs> That's terrible, dude. Anyway, sh people gonna think I'm gay or something. Like I'm with a man at a party in a bad drag outfit. Thanks a lot. Uh, maybe she'll trim up for me. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, I'll catch you later. Right. See you, man. Hello. Hey, man, it's Jeffrey. Yeah, no, I got a minute. What's up? <laughs> of course, I'd be happy to take you to the party. No, I don't have nothing planned. About what time you want me to be there? All right. It's a Halloween party, right? Awesome. I have this really cool outfit. I can't wait to wear it. All right. Nope, won't be late. No problem. All right. I'm Jazz, thanks. Alrighty, man, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Oh, fuck. Now, I just said I'd take JJ out and I done said yes to Amanda. Amanda, JJ. Mm-hmm. Hello, hey, JJ, it's Jeffrey. Well, hey, Jeffrey. Yes, yeah, JJ. How are you, honey? Yeah? Yeah, something came up. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to make the party tonight. 
You don't say, huh? No, 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 it's all right. Yeah, I know it's last minute. I can't get out of it. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, it's okay. I, I just, I bought this new dress. I, we'll go out another time, okay? Uh, all right, yeah, you're right. We can go out another time, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh man, you went and bought a new outfit. All right, we'll save it. We'll do it another time, okay? All right, hey, don't be so sad. It's okay. All right. Okay, JJ. I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye. <sighs> Lord, I gotta think before I open my mouth these goddamn days. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Oh, I'll tell you what, my whole life I'm just filled with disappointments. What a shame. I just bought that new dress. <laughs> Okay. Oh, don't get all emotional, JJ. It'll be all right. <laughs> Always happens to me all the time. No one ever wants to go out. Shake it off, girl. Taylor Swift, she says, shake it off. That fucking cunt. That what the fuck she know? She's skinny and she sleeps with everybody, too. She ain't no different than me, other than I got more facial hair than that fucking cunt. Hey, you Taylor Swift. Shake this off, bitch. <laughs> Jeff, maybe that guy's back there. Jeff.
I just don't feel so good today. I think I need to go sit down. I don't know what my problem is. I'm gonna lay down before the party. Maybe I'll feel better by then. Take my mind off of Veronica Vagina Doll with adjustable vaginas. Oh Lord, I can't wait to get ready for my party. What? What? Ugh. Oh holy shit. No one's entering the door, so I'm going to just have to break in. I haven't broken the house in years. That was before. That was before. Anyway, let me look in my bag and see if I can find something to pry this window open with. No, no, no. Uh, how the hell did this get in here? This it seems to be following me everywhere I go. That's going to work to get the window open. Well, it'll work later, but I don't need it right now. All right. Uh, let me see here. Hmm. I guess I'll have to break the window. This will have to do. I will break the window and hopefully no one will call the cops on me. Okay, so I broke the window. Now I gotta get in. This isn't going to be easy. Last time I broke in, my tits got stuck on the windowsill. Boy, that was embarrassing when the cops showed up. All right, let me get into position here. machine. With country music no less. Oh, I don't know anything that's more horror than that. Oh God. Lord. 
teardrops in her beer. I mean, really? Liz, 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 it's Janice. Listen, listen, whatever you do, do not open that invitation. Don't, don't, please don't. It is, it's an invitation to evil. If you get this message, please meet me at the house of the Moorcock. Yes, JJ's in danger and so are you. Please, when you get this message, please call me back. Okay. Oh my goodness, why wasn't she there? Damn it, Liz. Ugh. What I mean, let me call Caitlin. Hello? Hello? Oh, God damn it. She's got country music too. Oh Christ, she's down to her last cigarette. Good Lord. Oh, Caitlin! Girl, whatever you do, don't open that invitation. It's an invitation to evil. Caitlin, Caitlin! Oh, God damn it. Shit. Anyway, JJ! I gotta find my way out of this nightmare and help her. Damn it.
Happy birthday, Liz. <laughs> Guts, and it's all your fault. 
this, 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 honey. Uh, mm, tastes good. Don't you want some? How about you, Kate? Do you want some of that? Huh? Yeah? Tell me this. <laughs> Tell me where it is. Come on. Tell me this. Where's the doll? It's upstairs under the bed. <laughs> it took you so long. <laughs> Happy birthday, Liz. <laughs> and look, Liz, the boyfriend has a heart on for you. <laughs> I just fucking hate love, don't you? It's grand. <laughs> Look, she got the point. <laughs> Under the bed, huh? Don't go nowhere. <laughs> Look at me. I'll be back. It's not here. so good to see you. I know. It's been a long time. Oh, what the hell happened to you? A, a, a clown came and killed my boyfriend and Caitlin. What? What for? I, he said something about this Veronica vagina doll. Oh, what's a Veronica vagina doll? Oh, yes. What? Veronica vagina doll. Oh, where did you
you get the doll from? Well, I stole that from JJ when we were young. What? Did you get an invitation to? Yeah, so did Caitlin and my brother Derek. Oh no, there's a good chance Derek is dead. Oh my god, no. When you open the invite, he comes. Who? Juan Valdez, the old groundkeeper. The old groundskeeper from when we were kids? Yes, exactly. But how? Well, somehow he was strong enough in death to bust through our reality. He has possessed JJ. I have been in contact with Carol Ann and she has caught me up on this whole scheme. It's unbelievable. And somehow when you open the invitations, he comes to make amends for ever hurting JJ. He wants to possess her forever. You have to see this to the end, Liz. You're partly responsible. Now, be careful. Who knows what you think? We gotta go in there. Or we gotta exercise. Exercise that vagina. Now, you stick close to me. We gotta trick him into releasing her, okay? Get in there. It's gonna be scary. I'm just saying. So, whatever you do, you just stick close to me, okay? All right. Now, let's do this.
We got the Veronica Vagina doll. Come on back to us, girl. Come on, you gotta fight this son of a bitch. <laughs> come on, JJ. You know you want Veronica Vagina doll. Come on, come on. She's got adjustable vagina lips. <laughs> okay, one. enough with the games. When we were little, JJ swore her soul to me, which makes her my soul sister. Hey, soul sister. Hey, mister, mister. I don't even know the rest of the word, but you get the idea. Which means her soul belongs to me. And where I come from, possession is nine-tenths of the law, you son of a bitch. So she doesn't belong to you. So I, under Gordon's Act of California Penal Code 659-263-5492, HOT! Order you to release her right now. Fucking God. Really? Well, how about this? One way or another, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you one way. Maybe next day. Maybe I don't even know the words of that song. But you're gonna release her, goddammit. I'm telling you right now. JJ, if you don't stop hovering, you make me come up now. And look, Ron, you gotta release her. Uh, JJ's Now, Juan, I done put the bag down because I'm done playing games. You know, when I take this shirt off, that means shit's about to go down. And shit's about to go down, Juan, like you ain't never seen before. That's right. Let me explain something to you. I'm Janice. And I'm a medium, and I'm not a large. These bitches, they're large. Now, it's time to get out of that body, one. It's time to vacate the premises. That's right. By the power of Grayskull. No, that's not it. For the honor of Grayskull. No, that's not it either. Abracadabra. No. Oh, Lord, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of the valley of the dolls. Christ, I used to know it. I hear him call my name. In the midnight hour, I can feel his power. Just like a prayer, only you can take me there. Just like a prayer, your voice can take me there. Just like a mystery, you are a history. Just like a song, I don't know what the words are, but I'm gonna sing it anyway, one, because Jesus is here. And Jesus says it's time to go. That's right. Yeah. reality. Oh no, and Liz is on the floor. Again. I can't get her out of here. The house is starting to collapse. Liz! Damn it! Girl, now I gotta get the purse in you up! Liz, wake up! Oh, damn it. Liz, come on, honey, honey. We 
gotta get out of here. C girlfriend, come on, come on, come on, gotta get out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, girl, come on. I'm oh, lousy. Come on, girl. Run, run as fast as you can. Keep going, don't look back. Cookies. I'm Janice. It's very nice to meet you. What can I do for you today? Nice to meet you too. Oh, I love your nails. Anyway, I found my friend JJ unconscious at the house of Morka, and on her person, I found your personal business card. So I brought her here without haste. Wait, you found JJ? I sure the hell did. Well, where has she been? Well, in case where she lives, I'm not sure. What are you talking about? Well, we haven't seen her for three days. She has not taken her medication in three days. Do you understand how serious that is? No, I don't, because she lives at the house of Orcock. Can please explain? What are you talking she about? She can suffer serious hallucinations if you, she doesn't take her medication. You don't say. Every day, she's supposed to take the medication. And you're qualified OBGYN OMG. Gyno-therapist? That's right. I've been JJ's caretaker for over 20 years. That's oh. one of the worst cases I've ever seen. Okay, well, I'm trying to understand this. So in other words, you look at the head and the vagina. You're a therapist. Sure. Oh, sure. Yes. yes. Okay, yes. and she's been under your care all this time, and... Okay, so This is no laughing matter, James. Do I look like I'm laughing? I mean, for Christ's sakes. Do I look like I'm laughing? Well, if you understand the seriousness of this... I do. You will admit JJ immediately so we can understand what's going on here and how to get this under control. Sure, I will admit that JJ is nuts. How's okay. that? I don't have a pet. And you assure me this is for her best interest? It's... yes. There's nothing else I could recommend for her best oh, interest. for the love of Christ. Just give us your lip prints. <sighs> that would be enough of a seal. JJ, I hope I'm doing the right thing for you. We've been friends for a long time, and I have to trust Dr. Cookies here. Yes, well, it's so glad that you brought her in. Well, it was a pleasure to meet you. Yes. Okay, so have a good day, and I will see you later. Thanks. You're welcome. Take good care of her. Mm. When we call the sea